All right, hello boys and girls, moms and dads. Welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. This is fifth grade English. We are going to be doing week number three and day number three part of the curriculum today. And as always, day number three, uh, we talk about phonics and spelling. And specifically, we're going to be talking about sound sound patterns, A U and O I today today all right so if you can see on the screen right here with me we're gonna see two sound patterns a u we're gonna learn how to pronounce when we see two letters a and u put together how do those kind of words sound and then we are gonna do o i as well all right so a u typically sound like oh so like in sausage or like in sauce okay you don't say sauce or Sausage. No, you don't say that. You say sausage, right? Sausage. All right. So let's try to use a couple of ideas right now to practice how to do that. So look at this uh, first sentence over here. So be glad, people of Zion. Rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the blank reins because he is faithful. The autumn. Did you see that word A-U over there? Autumn. Autumn autumn rains okay that's going to be a scripture all right um, sentence number two you kill the blank of life but god raised him from the dead we are witnesses of this well that's going to be the author did you see a u sounds like author the author of life okay and then all blank in heaven and on earth has been given to me well that's going to be like all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me well, that's talking about Jesus over there. All right, uh, sentence sen number four. Who blank you to rebuild this temple and to finish and to finish it? All right, let's see. Who, who authorized you to rebuild this temple and to finish finish it? All right, so the word over here is going to be authorized. All right, so, uh, sentence number five. Many seek and blank with a ruler. But it, it is from the Lord that one gets justice. Many seek an audience. You see, the word audience shows oh, a u the word audience. Many seek an audience with a ruler. All right. Uh, sentence number six. All right. See, so when he rose from prayer and went back to the disciples, he found them asleep. Uh, blank from sorrow. That's going to be exhausted, exhausted from sorrow. So you're going to put exhausted over there, um, over there. All right. So sentence number seven, food gained by blank tastes sweet, but one ends up with a mouth full of gravel. All right. Food gained by fraud. Okay. Fraud tastes sweet, but one ends up with a mouth full of gravel. All right. Sentence number eight. And God said, let there be a blank between the waters to separate water from water. All right, that's going to be a vault, which in the King James, it was called a firmament, I believe. But a vault is going to be the same same thing. All right. So did you see how we used words that contained A and U letters in sentences over there? You're welcome to do that, okay, to practice how to pronounce A U very well. It's going to be A. Oh, like in sauce, like in sausage, like in authority, exhausted, fraud, author, audience, and so on and so forth. All right, so let's look at the word A-O-I right now. The word O-I, the letters O-I, when combined together in a sentence or in a word, is going to be pronounced like oi. And that's going to be like in foil or toil. We're going to try to use sentences right now like that. Sentence number I believe this is going to be number nine right now. Let me just make sure that's what we have here. Uh, I believe it's going to be number nine. Uh, okay, so that's going to be right here. Okay, so sentence number nine. So let's assume this is number nine here. Uh, we're going to set that numbering value from nine. Okay so we can change and correlate very well all right so the second row shall be blank shall be blank lapis lazuli and emerald shall be turquoise i believe it should be turquoise and you see that 
or I sounds like turquoise. And you're welcome to type in dictionary.com as well to validate this pronunciation very well. Um, sentence number 10. In the end, it tastes, in the end, it bites like a snake and blank like a viper. In the end, it poisons, it bites like a snake and poisons like a viper. Poisons. Okay. Better a little with the fear of the Lord than great wealth with turmoil. Do you see that word oil over there in turmoil? Okay. He loads the clouds with blank. He scatters his lightning through them. He loads the cloud with moisture. Moisture. He scatters his lightning through them. All right. Number 13. Again, it says blank you, Gentiles, with this people. Again, it says, uh, let's see, not rejoice. But I think it's going to be rejoice. Again, it says rejoice, you Gentiles, with his people. Rejoice. Okay. Um, sentence number 14. It is to one's honor to blank strive, but every fool is quick to, to quarrel to avoid avoid strife but every fool is going to be quick to quarrel section census number 15 i love the lord for he's heard my blank he heard my cry for mercy i love the lord for he heard my voice my voice and he heard my cry for mercy uh, sentence number 16 take the anointing oil and blank him by pouring on his head and anoint him by pouring it on his head. So go ahead and do those exercises and practice how to pronounce and enunciate those words very well by turning over to dictionary.com. So that's going to be another way for you to do that. You're going to go to dictionary.com, for example, and you are welcome to type in any of the words that we practiced with. So, for example, like anoint. Okay. So look at the way it sounds. Okay. Anoint. Anoint. Okay. Let's do it again. Anoint. 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 Okay. And then you want to see the IP is um, spelling of it. You're going to see it's like this. And the emphasis is going to be placed on the second syllable. Uh, anoint. 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 All right. Great. So please go ahead and do that um, over there. So that's going to be what I've got for you today, boys and girls. Week number three. Day number three. Grade five English from Hebrew Spawning School Academy. Until next time, remember God cares about you and so do it. Bye bye. I'll be your hero's body and as you study with hero's body.